you know, we've done testing over the last probably 10 or 15 years and we know we have a problem. My, my advice to other growers would be to, um, if they think they've got a problem um, with their soil, is to go out and test the, the five to 20 centimetres to see what your soil profile is doing. Soil dispersion test will inform whether we need to apply gypsum into the paddock or not. If the soil disperses based on that test, um, it means that the gypsum application most likely going to result in settlement of that soil structure and improve the soil structure. And if it doesn't disperse, it means probably the gypsum is not going to be beneficial in that, in that situation. The technique itself is very simple. Basically, you need um, water, a jar, and equipment like an auger or hand auger to collect soil from the surface and from different layers of the subsoil. Variability of dispersion or any other chemical properties in a paddock level is massive. So the recommendation is to get a number of different samples from different locations within each paddock to have a good understanding of the variability of dispersion. Very important to have a good understanding of the topsoil and the subsoil because in most of our farming system the topsoil may not be dispersive or sodic and the problem is actually in the subsoil where gypsum somehow needs to be placed or organic matter or other management techniques. The recommendation is to look at soil from 0 to 10, 10 to 20 centimeters and 20 to 40. After you extract the soil sample from the surface or the, uh, or the subsurface, basically a small aggregate, five to seven millimeters in size, would be a good size to test for dispersion. Into the jar, we can put 10 to 15 mils of clean water. Then we place the aggregates into those jars, leave them on a, a stable table or surface without any movement. Within 30 minutes and one hour, if dispersion is a problem in that particular soil, you would be able to observe milky cloudiness of the clay dispersion around that soil particle or aggregate that you place in the jar. Um, the only other point is that the soil may be slaking at the same time and slaking is refers to the collapse of aggregates um, as it comes in touch with water and it should be avoided in terms of confusion with dispersion because slaking is different from dispersion. If you confirm that you have a dispersive soil, um, then we can go to the next level. My recommendation is to do a soil test to quantify the level and the magnitude of that dispersion. And that happens in the soil chemistry lab where we can do chemical analysis to see how much exchangeable sodium proportional to your soil exchangeable capacity is in that soil. Based on those figures, we can decide how much gypsum needs to be added into the topsoil or to the subsoil to fix that dispersion. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.